What's up folks, Trip Smith here and today we are going on a, a little mini micro adventure testing out a new bike. I'm selling the Ginu, uh, getting something a little more rough water capable and this looks like an option. Let's see what we got in the store. This is a Thundercat. She's got about 65 horsepower sitting on the back. She weighs like 250 pounds or so. we about 55 mile an hour. <laughs> a wild ride, I believe. So to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect, but I knew to expect this thing was going to be fast. And man, was it fast. And responsive just when it turns. And I could just tell I needed to hold on. You can see it has these little loops on the inside. We're supposed to like strap yourself in. So I put my foot under this one pretty quick, like because I knew if I didn't, I wasn't going to last very long. So here we're headed out to some of the big water. Out into the Gulf, playing some, mm, I don't know, what felt like humongous waves. <laughs> That's all I can say. Everything felt so much faster and so much bigger in this little machine. It's really hard to tell just how big the waves are, but I promise you, they felt huge. Especially when you're this low, going this fast over them. I mean, it feels like you're out of control the whole time. But even though with all the beating and banging, it still felt surprisingly, you know, smooth and in control while still out of control. I mean, this thing would get some air just so easily. It was so wild and so crazy. Here we go. Yes, it was a little insane. Here we are running back in. We went out to some of the buoys pretty far out in the Gulf. Then we just gunned it back in, just flying over the waves. I don't know, it was so hard for me to film, but I hope the shots I did get kind of give you an impression of what this little monster's like. I mean, right here, we're cornering. The G-Force is incredible. So wild. Now we're headed back in, and he shows me just how skinny this boat can get. I'm talking right up on the beach, right in the shallows. Wow, very impressive. Needless to say, we got a lot of looks. When we came back to the ramp, Everyone was like, oh my goodness, what are you guys doing out there? And they were like, we would kill ourselves in that thing. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. To say the least, this thing is freaking insane. Insane. And I'm going to go out and call myself for just a second to see how it feels with less weight. Because he told me the boat's only about 180 pounds. It's a 65 horsepower motor. Yeah, it's a 40, but he's running 65 horsepower on this other thing. I don't know if this is smart. Well, not so. Now right. it's my turn to see just what this thing felt like. And it felt like a monster, I'm telling you. So right there it said the front gets a little squirrely. Because when you get up to speed, it does get a little squirrely for sure. Love and life right there. <laughs> I 
That says it all. It's pretty nuts. I mean, I'm nuts, but this is nuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm wild and crazy in this real seeker. And good God, is this one thrill? Holy moly. That thing freaking fly. Like almost literally, man. You guys, I have to say that was a tremendous amount of fun. Riding that Thundercat, oh my gosh. I mean, 65 horsepower on such a little boat. The boat, he said, weighs 180 pounds. The motor is 200 pounds or so, and then we're the only other weight in the boat, the riders. It was flying, it was flying fast, it was flying high, it cornered like crazy. It's like a Formula One car on the water. So why am I looking at that boat? Why am I riding that boat? Well, I'm on the hunt for another adventure craft, another boat for my adventures, for some more extravagant, and maybe not extravagant, but more adventurous adventures. Something a little more capable than the Ginu that can handle a little more chop, well, that thing can certainly do it. Hands down, you could ride that thing through a freaking hurricane, probably. I don't think it's quite the boat for me because I plan on some sort of you know longer distance trips, maybe longer duration trips, and that thing, although it is tons of fun for the short term, it's just not very practical to be uh, cruising all day in that or even for a few hours, so to, so to speak. It's just it's pretty darn difficult just to hold that tiller, keep her going straight. It's like you're in control, but out of control at the same time. You're just right there, just teetering, you're just, it's just, you gotta feel it to believe it, okay? You guys, we are on the hunt for another adventure craft for some more epic adventures. Like I wanna go to the Florida Keys, I wanna do some more coastal trips and stuff. Things that I just can't quite do on the Ginu. Things that I just know will be just epic adventures, all right? So that's what you guys have to look forward to that. And also some paddling adventures at the same time, even have a kayaking trip coming up. So there's a lot of good stuff that you guys are gonna enjoy. All right, folks, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little short, something another for you folks. Take care, God bless. See y'all in the next one, all right? See ya.